SideFX released their sneak preview of Houdini 20, and I wanted to go over some of the things that I think are really cool, some of the things I'm excited for, and just talk about the update in general. So first and foremost, this update will be taking place uh, sometime next month in November. We don't think that we have an official date yet. It just says November at the end of the video, which by the way, the video is going to be linked in the description as well as the full release notes for the re uh, 20 release. So make sure you check out those because there's a lot of things that's not listed in the video or not shown off in the video that is actually part of the update. Um, they kind of list a whole bunch of things at the end as well. But some of the things that I'm interested in, just kind of in order of how they appear in the video, as well as uh, some things extra from the release notes. First off, there's a bunch of new updates to Karma and Karma XPU. There's a new fog box, which is basically like a fog volume that you would see in other renders, which is nice. There's going to be a lot of updates to Material X, which is super exciting. Um, there's definitely a lot of limitations that Material X had in Houdini 19 and 19.5 or whatever. Um, so definitely excited to see some new things added to Material X. Hopefully we get some of the new noises that are in there. It's uh, used noise for quite a bit of different things. Um, but they specifically take a look at thin walled transmission, which is kind of a more... Uh, niche thing in my opinion but um, they also have a bunch of updates for material or for xpu and the things that they list in the video or show off in the video are nested dielectrics absorption dispersion and the big one for me is crypto mat so crypto mat is something that you're going to use a lot in the actual compositing stage and uh, it's uh, definitely something that was missing that is is definitely needed. There's also, uh, if you check in the release notes, there's a bunch of AOVs that are that are now going to be supported. Or at least it says uh, more AOVs or something like that. So uh, I'm definitely going to see more AOV stuff from XPU, which was needed. Uh, makes it more of a beta, or makes it more, less of a beta and more gold, which is actually listed in the release notes as going gold now. It's also a physical sky, lots of, of sky and cloud things in Houdini 20, which is going to be super interesting. I think clouds are super cool, uh, so I'm very excited to see that. Uh, but there is a physical sky now inside of Karma. And another thing that's super useful and very interesting that we're going to take a look at here for a second is render statistics. So you can take a look at the render st uh, statistic for your specific scene. And if you take a look at what they have listed here, uh, it shows this cave scene and elapsed time was eight minutes and 19 seconds. And so that's running on XPU. You can see the engine is listed with one AOV, which is just a beauty pass. And then how many samples and CPU threads. An interesting thing to note here, it says 24 CPU threads, two XPU devices. If you look at the bottom, it says an Intel Core i9 10920X and a RTX 4080. So definitely interesting there that it's taking uh, eight minutes for this scene. Um, so just interesting just in that, that regard there. Um, but it also lists all sorts of information about your scene, which is super useful. Uh, your polygon count, your lights, the types of meshes that you have, cameras, all that sorts of stuff. So definitely a interesting thing that you're going to be able to kind of diagnose your scenes there. Uh, very useful for some different things on that. Then we have Material X has a ton of presets. They kind of show a bunch of them in the, in the video. Uh, it's also listed in the release notes there's going to be a ton of just like presets that you can set up like skin shaders uh, that are just going to ship with with houdini 20 it looks like it's also multi-frame and multi-shot rendering so you can render multiple cameras at once which is pretty awesome uh, you can just kind of set things up and uh, distributed rendering as well with that so i'm um, going to be Using that uh, in studios, I'm sure, uh, very, very nice to see for that. Um, and then something that I'm not going to use all that often, or maybe at all, 
for a while, but is something that is absolutely awesome in my opinion, is projectiles. Not only just projectiles, but sticky projectiles. So you, they show an example of an archer shooting a like a zombie and the arrow can be set to stick in their body when it hits, which is awesome. Um, you can trigger all sorts of crowd uh, effects with that, ragdolls and different things that they show off. So really interesting with that. Not something, that, like I said, that I'm going to use um, really ever probably, but uh, it's definitely something that I think is super awesome and I wanted to highlight. There's also a skybox tool. So you can use this to create just a, a massive skybox for your scene, as well as there's a bunch of different cloud presets that you can kind of switch between. So they have a few different types of clouds that they show off, but there is uh, listed in the release notes a a preset thing where you can basically switch between cloud presets and, and get a type of cloud that you're looking for really quickly, which is something that is going to be pretty cool because you can art direct your clouds however you need and get some really interesting looks with that. They also have a sky field from map thing listed in the release notes. Uh, so it says sky field from map, 2D clouds from map. So basically you're gonna be able to make a 2D texture essentially from uh, a map that you input, sounds like. And then we have OpenCL support or more OpenCL support. They specifically show off a ripple solver, which is super cool because it's not only just used for like puddles, but you can use it on meshes which is pretty awesome. Then they also show off a vellum wind shadow is what they're calling it, which is basically like you just have a vellum wind uh, simulation going on. You have something blocking the wind, but you have like a piece of cloth behind it. It's gonna simulate the cloth as if it's being uh, kind of, the, the wind is wrapping around the object that's in front of it, which is pretty cool. We also have a quad remesh tool, which is something that people have been asking for for quite some time. I personally have used the Exoside quad remesher quite a bit. Um, it's basically, from my understanding, is just the Z, uh, ZBrush remesh tool. Um, works really, really well inside Houdini, but now we have a native tool that you don't have to pay for, which is uh, something that's definitely going to be welcome for uh, a lot of people. I know they, with I think it was 19.5 they released the faster version of the remesh tool um, which honestly I didn't really use I don't really like the way the the remesh tool works all that much inside Houdini as is so having a quad remesh tool is definitely going to be a welcome change like I said for a lot of people and then the last thing that I wanted to highlight, which is again something that I'm not really ever probably going to use, is a car rig driven by an RBD solver. I might use this, I don't know, but it's definitely something that's super cool. What they show off is a car driving through um, a terrain and it's you know it's simulating with the RBD solver, which is really, really cool to see. So definitely take a look at the video. Like I said, it'll be linked in the description. Also take a look at the release notes and uh, read through those. There's a bunch of things that I didn't mention and there's a ton of stuff in the updates as always But uh, it's hard to, to get to everything and I just wanted to highlight some of the things that I think are super interesting and that um, I'm going to to use or I just think are super cool But anyways super excited for this release for Houdini 20 can't wait for that to come out next month We'll be taking a look at a bunch of the new features, definitely taking a look at Karma and a bunch of those cloud tools as well. That's what I'm probably most excited for. Anyways, like I said, take a look at the video itself as well as the release notes and let me know what you guys are super excited for out of what you see and have a good day.